Let's see. Yeah, it looks about right. Okay. So we're gonna play another game, uh, which I believe is also a Yandere based game. <laughs> All right. Okay. Oh, okay, so, just as a warning, I mean, as far as I know, this uh, demo doesn't really have anything too concerning. It is, um, but the game is intended for players 18 years of age or older. So, we're going to go ahead and type I agree, and if you're under the age of 18, uh, Please click away. Thank you. Simplicity. All right. Oh, uh, my head is pounding. <laughs> my blurry vision is soon readjusted to the dim pub. The sound of lazily approaching feet made me makes me glance upwards. Um, hello. Yes. Now go away. So I can continue. You already drank yourself into an early hangover, huh? You should have one intro admin system turned on when you show up. Oh, I see. Yeah. Um <clears throat> oh. I squint up in confusion at the strange man standing with a drink in his hand. I'm about to ask who he is when he starts to talk in a raspy low voice. Oh, you underestimate my memory, good sir. Or you overestimate it, I suppose. I narrow my eyes at the man, my eyesight becoming clearer as I wake up, my memory following shortly thereafter. The strange man sits down opposite of me. You, you look like you don't even remember your own name. My name? My name is Aluni, thank you very much. Did you have a good nap, Looney? Mm, yes. You look like you are in pain. So what if I am? I just blew up a few times, that's okay, don't worry. My head is splitting. Yeah. Side effect of blowing up, you know. Napping while drinking, honestly, it serves me right. I think my headache is going away, though. Okay, a harder question. Do you remember your pronouns? Yes, they are he, they, but uh, in this case, you can call me he, him. That's right. You're right. I guess that is in his heart. Do you remember my pronouns? It was he, him, and they, them, right? Hey, same. Oh. I didn't expect you to remember that. Yeah. I feel like they then is more accurate, but humans have always referred to me as the former. He gives a small shrug. As he slides a glass full of sweet liquid danger towards me. Mm. I'm guessing you don't want this then. It's your usual, of course. I eye the drink, seeing the beautiful amber color shimmer in the glass. Uh, alcohol? Oh, oh when you have any that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, it's my favorite drink, but maybe I shouldn't. Z Cox is out to the side a bit. <clears throat> hmm. Well, I guess there is a first for everything. What do you mean? You don't seem like the type of person who is good at resisting temptation. I guess I'm just surprised. You don't even know me? I didn't mean to offend you. It's nice seeing you happy. I just like to see you honest with yourself when enjoying your favorite things. I wouldn't say alcohol is one of my favorite things. The way you are looking at that glass is very... Z pauses as if trying to find the right words. Starving cat-esque. 
You shut up. Thanks. Z sits across from me and rests his elbows onto the table, seeming more interested in myself than the drink in front of me. A thick silence drifts across us as he stares at me. Or at least I can only assume so under that ungodly mop pair. Z soon breaks the silence. So, go on. You come here often. Is, is that the best you've got? Good sir. Uh, is that supposed to be a pickup line? A mischievous smile stretches across his face. <sighs> You're boring me, sir. Oh, hold on. I almost forgot I have food. What? Don't like that one? I dead pansy. <laughs> okay, okay, what about this one? He takes a deep breath, seemingly to compose himself. He seems to be taking this a bit too seriously. He looks at me with a grave look. Help, I can't breathe. As he stares expectantly. Z excitedly fidgets a bit, just waiting for me to answer. Uh, why? <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh my god. Ugh. Sorry, distracted. Because you took my breath away. Ugh, that's even worse. Did it hurt when you- Nope! What? You didn't even let me finish. No, please, just no. Next. He seems to be enjoying himself quite a bit. He kind of bad. He is. <laughs> he kind of bad. Making the gay and me act up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, what about this one? Z leans forward, a devilish smirk spreading across his face. You could be a sacrifice to even the devil they thank you for. Uh, uh Um Hmm. That's actually creative. He opens his mouth again, but I jump in and quickly cut him off. Please, please, no more pickup lines. Spare me. Something dark flashes across C's face as he shifts in his chair. Well, if this sweet human is going to beg, then I suppose I can stop. Thank for now. You fork-timed little shit. I shoot a deadpan glance and take a sip of my drink. He cackles a bit at my glare. My phone vibrates in my pocket, causing me to jump. I sigh, immediately assuming it is work, asking if I can pick up a ship tomorrow. As if reading my mind, Z asks, How's the job lately? Oh, uh, it honestly just sucks and I don't think it will get better. It's not great, but I think it will get better soon. M maybe. Um, no. I'm gonna go with... I mean, let's be honest here. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna burn the theater down? What? No. That's kind of extreme. Arson is honest work. L listen, sir. I don't think it is. It's not as easy as people think. How about we just scratch this whole idea? Best not to encourage arson even as a joke. I can't rely on the good judgment of some weird guy wearing horns and a tail. How do you feel about bombs? What? No! Even as a joke, you can't say that shit. I look around the pub swiftly. What if someone heard you say that? The police could arrest you for terrorism. Probably. Z barks out a harsh laugh. Ha. Huh. The human police arresting me? I'd like to see them try. I blink incredulously. You're fucking nuts. <laughs> I guess it would be kind of a shame if we blew it up. I sigh, completely giving up. 
And why is that? It's because we wouldn't be able to go see movies together. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I follow. And I'd be out of a job? Z waves his hand dismissively. So. Yeah, you don't need one of those. I, I mean, I agree. I wish the rest of the world agreed with me, but, you know. It would be fun to cuddle up together and you could grab onto me when something scares you. Wait, I don't even know what kind of movies you like. So... What movies do you like? Oh, uh, here's where I out myself. Um, honestly, uh, I like a lot of different kinds of movies. Um, but I think if I'd have to say my favorite, it'd probably be like a adventure, adventure movies or like fantasy. Um, but action's good, horror's good, sometimes romance can be good. Depends on the drama, but dramas can be good too sometimes. Um, and anything is good if it has a little bit of comedy in it. Well, maybe not anything, but if it's got good comedy. <laughs> um, so, let's see. I guess out of this list, I... I feel like I feel like he would he would want me to say horror. Though I think I'm gonna go with horror. Yeah. Oh. Oh, me too. Well, some of them I like. Some are just laughable. Yep. That's yep. That's kind of so. That's how it'd be. Yeah, horror tends to be like that. The laughable part can be endearing sometimes, though. Z smiles as if he's only looking at something cute. Well, maybe you could show me sometime how endearing they are. Do you like the bloody ones or the possession ones? Uh... I like both of them. Honestly. But... Since I have to choose... Let's go with possessions. I think I prefer possessions. Z fidgets a bit in his chair. Ooh. I find them scarier to have to fight against some invisible force that has way more power than you. But I guess in the movies they always find a way. Some priest will come by, or the main character can read Latin unrealistic like you would never see me mm -hmm. is there something you're t not telling me he acts as if he's personally offended by that i mean possessions aren't really realistic anyways oh huh? i mean why would a demon want to possess a random person maybe if they were like a billionaire i'd get it Z nods thoughtfully in agreement. I wonder what it would be like to be possessed, though. Like, is your spirit heated out, or do you exist with another spirit, like brain roomies? <laughs> brain roomies. <laughs> or does it start out feeling like normal, but then soon your skin is crawling and something feels like it is inside you, slowly influencing you? Z smile. Z's smile shrinks into a small one. I know it's weird to consider, but maybe it would be painful? Or maybe it would feel good. Maybe like an erotic closeness that goes beyond that what humans can understand or perceive. Sorry, I, I went off there. I don't know what I was... Z suddenly hops out of his chair, leaning forward over the table. His face is so close he smells like embers and licorice. Do you want to? Uh... What? If you want to invite me in, you you can try me out. What, what do you... What? You mean try me out? <laughs> um, I, I'd love to sink into your warm skin. Um, 
Z. Z, normal people don't say things like that. His breathing becomes a bit heavy as his expression becomes increasingly bizarre. He breathes in deeply. His voice drops to a husky whisper. Oh no, he's bringing out the husky whisper. Just thinking about it makes me so excited. I can hear your blood rushing from here. You are excited too. I, I don't know if excited is necessarily the right word for that, but sure, yeah, we'll go with that. And you, you smell so good. Uh, again, <laughs> Z, normal people don't say things like that. W what? Z inches closer, his hand reaching out towards my face. Are, are you in character? Or is that your way of asking me for a hookup? You're being a fucking weirdo, Z. He doesn't seem to be registering what I'm saying. Z! At my yell, Z suddenly falls back into his seat as if he himself were surprised about his actions. Ah, that's right. <clears throat> ah, you're right. Sorry, I got a little... Insane? Hold on. I think we almost got possessed. <laughs> I think we were just this close to getting possessed. Passionate. What were we talking about again? Anyways... I do really enjoy watching movies. Even though most of the time my job sucks ass. It's nice to be able to watch a movie for free on nights where hardly anyone shows up. I watch movies... Oh, I watch movies too. Oh, yeah. Z puffs out his chest, giving a proud look. I have seen 20 or so. <laughs> I start to cough to cover up my laughter when I realize that he didn't mean it as a joke. Wow, all, all, all 20 of them, huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. I have a few bit more to go. Before we met, I wasn't really interested. But watching you watch... Uh, but seeing you so passionate about them made me want to watch them, too. Mm-hmm. Is that so? I wouldn't say I'm passionate. Maybe my misinterpretation, though. Either way, movies are just such a human creation. I just don't understand them. What do you mean? Z takes a moment to think. So, for instance, you know those superhero movies, right? Yeah? They, uh, the heroes are always so determined to carry out justice without killing the bad guy. Even if that idea of justice only causes further suffering, death, and damage to those they swear to protect. That is true, but I guess we, the viewer, are supposed to be impressed by the hero's moral fortitude or something. Is it morals, or is it just selfish desire? He's bringing out the real questions, guys. The evil villains always get caught and go to jail. Then they immediately break out of jail to do worse crimes, even sometimes harming those the hero claims to love and want to protect. Do the heroes even want to stop crime, or is it that, or is it that they just enjoy carrying out justice? I don't understand. That's a... Hmm. You make a very fair point there. Despite all my rage, I'm sorry, despite all of this, humans still dress up, purchase paper magazines and little idols of these heroes to adorn their houses. Humans idolize heroes for their blind devotion to their selfish desires, yet hate villains for their blind devotion to their self-desires. I just don't understand why any hero would act under the guise that they are doing an altruistic good. So then, as the hero, what would you do instead? I'd protect those I want to protect. And if anyone dared to touch those I protect, 
it's Z's voice darkens. I tear them limb from fucking limb. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just for simply having the thought. A shiver moves down my spine as I adjust in my seat. I, uh, I don't think that is considered something a hero would do by most people's standards, at least. That would be more of a villain line. But humans will see a hero as someone that would sacrifice their loved one for the greater good. See, humans are so fu uh, so confusing. Z sighs and plays with his hair in thought. <laughs> Hold on. You hold that thought, good too. Okay, there we go. Okay, finally done with that. Where were we? Humans would rather re relate to talking cars than characters that do some immoral acts. Are you... I don't think that is entirely true. But either way... Talking cars... Is that seriously one of the 20 movies you have watched? Sometimes you start watching a movie because you overhear it being recommended to someone else. <clears throat> and then when you start to watch the movie, it looks really brainless. But despite that, you push on and continue to watch it. Because you know what they say. Mm. <clears throat> Life. Oh, God. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Sir, you're killing me. <clears throat> Life is a highway. I face palm with a groan. Stop. God damn it. Her chow. Seriously, why did you decide to watch it? It was on my list of movies to watch. How did it get on the list? He gives a small shrug. I heard some people talking about it, and I got curious. I'm not going to lie, I really didn't know what I was expecting. And I was still surprised. I'd like to see the rest of this list. He gives a small smile. He looked almost bashful. Ah, that's right. I left it at home. I narrow my eyes. <clears throat> that feels like a lie for some reason. Anyways, I read online that the movie watching experience is greatly improved when you are with someone else. Uh huh. Yeah. Like, really close with them. Without any obstructions between yourself and the other person. Is that right? He seems to have gained some confidence in his answer. Yep. I read it online. Uh, moviewatching.com. I'm thinking... <clears throat> I'm thinking you shouldn't do it any other way because it would be wrong. So, I should find someone to cuddle with whenever I want to watch movies. Yeah. Yep. Z gives a look of surprise as if a sudden realization had just hit him. Hey, hey now that you mention it, I have an idea. I... <clears throat> Excuse me. I laugh out loud, unable to hold myself back anymore. Z, his face softens at my laughter. Are you being this obvious on purpose? I could be less obvious if you want. Ow. Oh. His face scrunches in thought. So... I have a lot of movies that I need to watch for... for... Anyways, ah, that's right. 
I read in a medical journal that 10 out of 10 doctors agree cuddling with a demon is good for your health. I don't think anyone has ever said that. So, so I was so I was thinking if I have to watch movies for uh something, it would be mutually beneficial for both of us to cuddle. You are so bad at this. You should quit while you're ahead, honestly. Am I ahead? <laughs> no. No, not really. Got my voice. So maybe I shouldn't quit then. Oh my god. No, you definitely should. Okay, okay, fine. You size and defeat jokingly. <laughs> Humans are so confusing. Okay, I have to ask. Why do you keep saying humans as if you aren't one too? Yeah. I'm not. What? I'm not a human. I grimace a bit. <laughs> of course. The cute guy interested in me is insane. But on second thought, I suppose I should have been able to see that coming based off of the... choice of dress and the weird body modifications to his teeth. I wonder if they hurt. Mm -hmm. I glance at the weird horns and tail he's wearing. <clears throat> I grab my glass, deciding I am not under enough of influence to bring up this weird subject. After swallowing the burning liquid, I face him. You seem to have, uh, some hobbies. Are you cosplaying right now? Cost-playing? What is that? Some kind of sex thing? No, absolutely not. Um, well, I... I guess, technically, it, it could be. Ooh, so bold of you to ask my sexual preferences in public like this. Z. <laughs> You're going to make me feel all shy and stuff. I somehow doubt that. <clears throat> he scans the pub in an exaggerated manner and then leans in close. The smell of coal, whiskey, and licorice drift across my senses as he whispers. You're kind of freaky, aren't you? Uh, I, I most certainly am not. Not openly, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he leans back and cackles at my speechless look. Unless I'm teasing people, then yeah, okay, then I'm, yeah, I'm a little freaky. <laughs> In the context I was using, I didn't mean it as a sex thing. I was just wondering if you'd like to dress up as characters. He tilts his head. Like a costume? Yeah. I don't think so. Not really, but if it's your sex thing, I'd give it a try. Oh my god, it's not my sex thing. <laughs> he laughs harder at my exasperation. You're doing this on purpose. Z shrugs. Maybe. Enough about me, though. What do you like to do? I like to watch movies, play video games. <laughs> I really enjoy cosplaying and committing acts of arson. <laughs> no. <laughs> um. You know, I like video games and movies. I read. Sometimes I do some creative stuff. I like. I think I like to consume stories, really. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I like video games. I feel like I could have guessed that based off of how you were dressed. Oh. Is it the striped shirt? I'm just going to ignore that. What games do you like? I haven't played that many, I just learned about them. Z smiles wide, cackling really. Humans get so mad when you are better than them. Their shrill voices screaming threats really makes my day. How will these humans accomplish their little threats? I don't even have a mother. <laughs> Stupid humans. Z cackles loudly as if he was tr has truly got one over on the humans. My mouth opens and closes a couple of times. I truly don't know how to respond. He seems so proud of himself that I decide to keep my mouth shut and nod. Yeah, probably for the best. <clears throat> what else do you like to do for fun? Visit the pub? 
<clears throat> well, I guess I like talking to strangers at pubs. No, I'm just trying to find more hobbies right now. Um... I, to, if we're going to be honest, I'm, I sh can't pick the top one, because uh, talking to strangers is, uh, yikes. Especially at uh, pubs, for, to me anyway. <clears throat> no, I'm just trying to find more hobbies right now. I don't really come here that often. <laughs> I'm trying to find more hobbies to do, but I work pretty often to be able to afford living, I guess. And when I get off of work, I just don't have the energy to do much. That is a goddamn mood. So to me, it sounds like your life could be could be improved by a little arson. No, not all problems are solved with arson. Z pouts. Some are. No, they aren't. Fine, fine. No arson then. Why are you like this? Yeah. That demon's gotta be proud of what they got right. Or got right. I'm just saying, I could teach you a few things. As he rambles on about the underappreciated benefits of ours, and I go to pick up my glass to take another drink. Empty. I must have drank it all without realizing. My eyes feel droopy as I notice that most people have already left the pub. God, how late is it? I fold my arms and rest my head on the table. I yawn, escaping my lips. My jacket sleeve is comfier than I remember. I have listened to Z ramble a bit more. After about 20 more minutes of Z talking, he pauses, smiling down at my sleepy form. You look tired, Looney. When, when do I not? Oh. My vision of Z becomes blurry. It becomes harder to keep my eyes open. Oh, look at your little claws. Your little claws. He's got the claw. Yeah. My vision... It becomes harder to keep my eyes open. <clears throat> I should probably go home before I fall asleep here. Good idea. Yeah. Looney. Despite the voice thought, my eyes grow heavier. <clears throat> Z becomes blurrier than until he fades into darkness. Before consciousness left me, I felt a hand softly patting my head. Don't worry. This is good. I somehow doubt that. Uh we're gonna play like Chess, right? I mean, I'm terrible at chess, so maybe that wouldn't be so much fun. Checkers. I can play checkers. I can play checkers. You can do that. Oh, I'm also good at card games. That's how we're gonna have fun, right? Right? Yeah. I mean, more the merrier, but, uh, sure. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, um, <clears throat> that was favor. Oh, I have successfully met Z.